Wham Cam, sponsored by your local Honda dealers. It's time to go wham! Hi folks, think of the word Stromboli. It's more than a volcanic island off the coast of Italy. It's food! Let's talk about Stromboli. What's its origin? It's time to go wham. Cafe made it, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, <laughs> no, I mean in general. Italian cuisine, man. I yeah, mean, what else can you say? What else can you say? Stromboli. Basically pizza, yeah, folded up, right? Can't be bad. Who made this? Where did it come from, Stromboli? No idea. Old Ford's probably. It's, it's in the name, it's strong. You strung it. It's like a, you know, it's long. Strong. Strung out. Strung out. Bowly. Bowly. Strung out Bowly. <laughs> Strung Bowly. <laughs> it's another word for what we call jambord. Right. Jambord is when you have no set recipe at home. Right. And you put a little of this together and a little of that together, and it's called jambord. My people do the same thing. We call it pierogi. Per okay. All right. Yeah, it could be the same thing. Well, was there a volcano there or something that yes, made that yes, stromboli? Yes. How do you go from volcano to this thing? Well, maybe when it, when it killed all the animals. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it sort of fried them up. Then they just threw them, rolled them up and roll them up and throw and throw and. Dude, just, you're, yeah, sick. you're sick. You're <laughs> sick. It's made here in Pennsylvania. Philly is where it originated. In the yeah, I like it. In the 1950s, in the 1950s, as the story goes. There were workers and miners who wanted a quick, portable food that they can take to work. So they, at Romano's restaurant, they folded up pizza, added some meat and cheese, and said, here you go. And then they called it stromboli? And they Come called on. it stromboli. They could throw Come on. Take it from the Italians, baby. Yeah, well, they kind of did, but it started in Philadelphia, right down the road at Romano's. And that is a whammy. Yeah, baby. Come on now, whammy. Yep.